Hey, Gloria McDonald here, and I'm super excited to be here with you today because I'm, I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite subjects, which is the close. So how many of you find it really difficult to ask that closing question, that enrolling question, to actually ask for the sale? If you're anything like me, I certainly found it extremely difficult because I didn't want to feel pushy and slimy and like a used car salesman. So hopefully I've got four really powerful keys for you here today, and I want to help you put an end to that feeling forever and feel like you really can be a master closer. So here are the four real reasons why people say no to your opportunity. Reason number one is they don't know, like, or trust you yet. So we're going to dig into that a little bit further because I've got a way to show you how to get people to know, like, and trust you very, very quickly. <clears throat> Reason number two is they don't believe your business opportunity will be able to help them. Now, I want to emphasize help them because it's not that they don't believe in your business opportunity, but they don't necessarily believe that it will help them, which is really key. Reason number three why people say no to your opportunity is they're not committed to their dream. And this is huge. And I'm talking about whether you're talking about your network marketing opportunity or your affiliate marketing uh, opportunity, whatever it is. These are the four real reasons why people say no to you. And reason number four and reason number three and four are really, really huge. Reason number four is they don't believe in themselves. So notice, none of this has anything to do with the normal excuses we hear, which I'm going to get to in just a little bit. So <clears throat> let's dig in a little more to reason number one, the no like, and trust factor. Now I have a conversation which I call the island of, my, of your dreams conversation. And I go through that in detail in my Mastering Conversations, The Closed Guide. So check out the link above or below this video. You can download for free my Mastering Conversations, The Closed Guide. And it really talk, walks you through step by step by step the exact questions that you want to ask your prospect to create a connection with them. And these are powerful questions and they're really, really important. So <clears throat> the reason why it, what I call the Island of Your Dreams conversation <clears throat> excuse me, is so powerful is because when you do this right, you listen more than you talk. And that's absolutely key because when you talk, it sounds to your prospect like a sales pitch. However, when you listen and they talk, they learn about themselves and they learn about what it is they want and then they feel heard, they feel special, <clears throat> they feel seen and you, what you do is you create a connection and creating connection is absolutely critical. So again, download my Mastering Conversations, the closed guide that's attached to this, that's in the link above or below this video, and it will walk you step by step through this island of your dreams conversation, which is powerful questions that you ask your prospect, and then you actually let them know that you heard them. So then when you do this, you instantly create the no like, and trust factor. So reason number two why your prospect will say no to your opportunity is they have this question going on, whether it's consciously or subconsciously, will your business opportunity really be able to help them? So here's the thing, they're, what they're really asking is, yes, but will this work for me? And whether you're talking to someone who's never been in network marketing, or whether you're talking to someone who's been in network marketing before, especially if they've been in network marketing before, they're saying to themselves, will this work for me? Because I've done this before and it didn't work, and I've been in, one, two, three companies and it didn't work, whatever it is. So will this work for me? Now here are two keys that this is really, really important because I've seen top name trainers, network marketing trainers train on this and it just makes me wanna cringe because key number one is to help your prospect understand that this will work for them is to give them an example of someone like them in your business who has been successful. And here's the really tricky part about this, and this is what I've heard top earners train on. I've heard them say, well, you know, if someone has, for example, two young kids at home, 
then you want to be you want to give them an example of someone who's been able to stay home with their kids since starting this business. And don't assume that just because someone has two young kids that they want to be an at-home parent. Some people don't want to be an at-home parent. Some people love being out there in the work world and they don't want to be at home full time. Don't assume just because someone is in their 60s that they want to be able to retire, spend life on the beach, and spend more time with their grandkids. If you assume that about me, you would be totally wrong. So never do this. Never give someone an example of someone who you think is like them, who's been successful in your business, until you've been through the island of your dreams conversation and you honestly know that person, know what it is their goals and dreams and wants and desires are. Then give them an example. So this one is tricky. Don't do it until you really know your prospect and you've had a thorough conversation with them, asking them the questions that are in that island of your dreams conversation. So key number two is to give a brief outline of your plan of how to get them to success. Now notice, this is not your compensation plan. This is not a brief outline of your company's compensation plan. This is not a brief outline of how amazing your products are and all the active ingredients in them. This is not a brief outline of the CEO of your company and how amazing he or she is. This is a brief outline of the exact steps you're going to take to hold your prospect by the hand. And if I'm your prospect, hold my hand and make sure that you're going to help me get from where I am right now over that gap to where I really want to be. How are you personally going to be with me every step of the way? So this is something you need to know. You need to have a brief plan in your mind so that every time you're talking to a prospect, you say, look, this is what we do. We start you off with this and this, and I'll be there every step of the way. I'm like your internal GPS. Each step of the way, I tell you, turn right, turn left, stay straight. So know what it is. Know how you're going to help me, your prospect, get to success. Okay? So <clears throat> neither of these is about your compensation plan, how amazing your products are. It's nothing about your company, okay? And then at the end of that, you actually ask your prospect, so are you willing to <clears throat> put in the effort? Are you willing to put in the effort? Because you have to know if someone is willing to put in the time and the effort. Okay, <clears throat> so reason number three why people don't join your opportunity is they're not committed to their dream or getting what they want. So people are interested in a lot in a lot of things, but they will only invest in things they're committed to getting. Now, we all know people buy lots of different training programs and things like that, but the investment I'm really talking about here is yes, money, but more importantly, time, because time is even more precious than money to the vast majority of us. So, <clears throat> People will, in, will, you know, are interested in, they might be interested in your opportunity, but they're not going to really commit to your opportunity um, if they're not committed to getting what they want. So here's the thing. It's difficult for us as human beings, it's difficult for your prospect to commit to what they really want because of fears, self-doubts, and the fear of change. We all have fears, we all have self-doubts, and change is difficult for us as human beings. So both you and your prospect are going to need to move outside your comfort zone. So again, reason number three why people don't join you, again, it doesn't have anything to do with your compensation plan, your products, your CEO, any of that. It's they're not committed to their own dreams. So the question is, how can you get your prospects committed to their dream? And again, the island of your dreams conversation that's outlined in the Mastering Conversations, the closed guide, which you can get by clicking on the link above or below this video, that Mastering Conversations, the closed guide will help you get your prospect committed to their dream or getting what they want. Okay. Reason number four, people say no to your opportunity is they don't believe in themselves enough. And that's because of fears. Again, we all have fears. 
So whether your prospect is someone who has never been in network marketing or affiliate marketing before, or whether they have been in network marketing one, two, three, four times before, they have fears that they can't do it. They have fears that they can't change. So if you're talking to someone who's already been in network marketing, they might be thinking, whether they're consciously aware of it or subconsciously, what's going on in their brain is, yeah, but I wasn't successful in this company, so what's gonna be different? How am I gonna be successful now? Or <clears throat> one of their fears is that they're going to fail, that they can't change, that they're going to fail, or they might look bad. I know this was certainly me, because I've been in network marketing, and it didn't work, and so then I joined another network marketing company. It got to a point where I was like, oh my gosh, one of my friends gone thank you. There goes Gloria again, off on another one of her harebrained scams, right? So <clears throat> people all have fears. Your prospect has fears. They may not be consciously aware of them because here's the thing. Usually we're unaware of these fears, but they're going on at a subconscious level. So you have to, when you're talking to your prospect, help them overcome the fears that they might not even be aware that they have. So you do this. <clears throat> um, well, when your prospect has these fears, what they'll do, excuse me, I'm going to put this down just a little bit. What they'll do is they will give you excuses. And the excuses will be that they don't have any time, that they don't have any money, that they have to talk to their husband, their wife, their partner, whoever, um, that they have to think about it. Or my all-time favorite well, my intuition, my gut is telling me this just isn't right. And they're right. Their gut, their fears are screaming at them that, oh my gosh, I'm never going to be able to do this. I can't do this. I can't do this. And so then they give you these excuses. But 99% of the time, these excuses are not what's keeping them from joining you in your network marketing or affiliate marketing opportunity. It's the four reasons that's keeping them, the four real reasons that's keeping them from joining. So, take a stand for your prospect. This is your job. Your job is to take a stand for your prospect. So again, it, when you don't, when you don't handle these four real reasons why people don't join you, that's when these objections come up again. And I'm sure you've all heard them, that they don't have time, they don't have money, they have to talk to somebody, they have to think about it, or you know, their intuition or their gut is saying no. But when you take a stand for your prospect and you help your prospect through the island of your dreams conversation, when you help your prospect identify their dream and you help them take a stand for getting to their dream, that's when these objections don't appear anymore. So this probably goes against everything you were ever trained in your network marketing company. It certainly went against everything I was ever trained but you do not want your prospect to say yes to your business opportunity. That is not what you want. Now that might be shocking to you, but trust me, you do not want your prospect to say yes to your business opportunity. What you do want is you want them to say yes to their dream. Because if your prospect says yes to your opportunity, again, whether it's network marketing or affiliate marketing, the minute it gets hard, the minute they start to experience rejection, the minute they figure out, oh, this is going to take a long time to make money, they are out of there if they've said yes to your opportunity. However, if you've helped your prospect identify their dream, create a real burning desire for their dream, and you've shown them that they can get to their dream and that you're going to help them get there, you've overcome their fears around that, when they say yes to their dream, then that's going to be what keeps them in the game. And when you know what your team members' dreams are, you can keep going back and reminding them, don't forget, the whole reason why you joined this business was because of your dream. But you have to know what your team members' dreams are, and you find that out by having the island of your dreams conversation. So, your inside job is number one when you're having a conversation with your prospect. So you have to put your own fears and self-doubts totally aside and put your all into helping your prospect get what they want, get to their dream. So it's not about you. It's about your prospect. And this is difficult because if you're anything like I was, 
before I learned how to master conversations that close, and before I learned what the four real reasons were why people say no to your opportunity, then when I was having a conversation with the prospect, I was nervous, I was fearful. I was like, okay, I've got to get this sale. I've got to get this person to sign up with me. I, you know, this, is this going to be the one? Okay, I have to make sure I get through the compensation plan. I have to tell them all about the products. I have to tell them all about how amazing this company is. I have to tell them about our culture. I have to tell them about the CEO. I have to tell them about my uplines, uplines, upline. And I, so I was blathering on rather than allowing my prospect to talk and truly listening and being genuinely and sincerely interested in them as a person and interested in helping them get to their dreams. So that, you, it's your inside job. It's putting your own fears and self-doubts totally aside and being completely and totally invested in your prospect that will help you with this conversation. So your number one intention during your enrollment conversation is helping your prospect commit to what they want. Helping your prospect commit to their dream. And if your number one intention is to get a new client, to get a new business builder or team member, you will fail most of the time. So if you're coming at this from, oh, I gotta get this person, I gotta get this person, and you're very, very attached to the outcome, that will come across energetically at a subconscious level. Your prospect will feel that, and all of their fears will come up. And then those four real reasons why they're saying no will pop right out. They might come up with a million excuses like, well, I don't have time, I don't have money, you know, whatever. But when you, when you really make your number one intention in the enrollment conversation, helping your prospect get their dream, and let go of your intention to get somebody into your opportunity, that will change. When your prospect gets crystal clear on what they want to create in life and they're committed to getting on the journey to getting there, guess what happens? And again, this is your job. Your top job is to inspire your prospects so they begin to believe in themselves. And the way you do that is by the more you believe in your prospect, the more you acknowledge them, the more you demonstrate your expertise, not by talking, but by listening. And by really finding out who they are and what they want, the more you genuinely care about helping them get to their dream, and the more you take a stand for them choosing their vision over their fears, because that's what happens to us as human beings. We end up not choosing our vision, we choose on the side of our fears. We let what I call our mini minds take us out, because our brains are there to keep us safe. That amygdala, the oldest portion of your brain, is there to keep you safe. So it's going to be sending you those messages nonstop, don't do this, don't do this, you might fail, you might look foolish, you might not be able to make the change, you've done it before, it didn't work for you, don't go there again. Your brain is literally wired to take you out 100% of the time. So you really need to take a stand for your prospect choosing their vision over their fear. So when you do all that, the more likely they are to sign up. And I honestly believe this with every fiber of my being, that you're being of highest service to your prospect when you do this. When you're really helping them take a stand for their vision over their fear, when you help your prospect create a belief in themselves, that's possibly, and I'm gonna change that from possibly to probably, the most important task you have is to help your, your prospect really see their vision create their vision for themselves and take a stand for their dreams, their vision over their fear. And when you can do this, I guarantee you, you will close far more people into your opportunity. So click on the link above or below this video to download my free Mastering Conversations That Close guide and dig in and start changing the way you have these closing conversations. Thanks so much. I'll see you again soon.